What's up my sweet sweet little angels? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a beautiful beautiful day today. Um, I'm gonna be sharing my Notion with you guys. Finally, ever since I started using Notion in October when I did that getting organized video, I'll link it down below and in the cards. Um, ever since then, you guys have been asking for this and this has been the most requested video on my channel, so I'm here to give my people what they need. A few things before we get started. First of all, you should really check out my Instagram because you're missing out. I don't want you to miss out. It's not fun to be left out, so... And then also, I will figure out how to link my templates down below. They're very simple. I used some of the templates from Notion and then I just tweaked them a little bit so you can really easily recreate them. But in case you don't want to and you want it to be super simple, I'll try to figure out how to do that and paste it in the info box. And then lastly, my Notion is so incredibly simple. I'm naturally a very disorganized person. And so for me, I need a very clear, simple, non-complicated system to stick to it so it doesn't become a mess. And so yeah, it's very simple. I pretty much only use Notion apart from my Google Calendar. I don't have any like physical um, planners or calendars, to-do lists, any of that. It's all in one place, which I love. It's just so freeing for my mind. I can't even explain it. Okay, let's get into my Notion tour. Here is my dashboard. So first of all, on the left, you can see all of my favorited um, pages. So I have my weekly agenda, my habit tracker, and then my monthly budget. You can really easily favorite a page um, in the like top right corner. Uh, but here I just keep the ones that I just use every single day, um, just so I have like quick and easy access to them. But I'm gonna start with my dashboard because that's kind of where most of my <laughs> Notion organization takes place. So, um, on the bottom, I have this calendar and I wanna just quickly mention it. I don't really use this calendar. I really wish there was a way to like integrate Google Calendar into Notion. There might be, I don't know. I'm not a very tech savvy person, but um, I don't really use this calendar to be honest. I only have like my uploading dates in here, which are useless because I know them. <laughs> Okay, now let's get into the pages that I actually use all the time. So first off, we've got weekly agenda, which I use every single day. That's how I plan my week and my days. So this is how it looks like. So we've got every single day on the top here. And then on the bottom is my weekly to-do list. This is like the best system. I've been using this system for probably a year now. I used it in my like physical planner before and now I transferred it into Notion. It just works so well for me. So let me explain. On the bottom here, I just have different categories of my life. So we have different projects, business, other creative, personal, like whatever the categories are of my life. <laughs> and then in each category, I just write down all of the to-dos for the upcoming week. So I usually do this on a Sunday or Monday morning. And then what I do is I just drag them into like whatever day I'm gonna complete the task. So let's say this email I will do tomorrow and I just drag it. And I just love this to-do list form because it's very satisfying for me to actually cross something off. So yeah, that's my favorite page that I have on Notion just because it's so useful and I reference it all the time. And it works really well with my Google Calendar as well. So that's great. Then going back, next up we've got Habit Tracker. So with this one I have on the left like every single day of the week obviously and then I have my different habits here. So at the moment I have my 6am morning routine, my morning yoga, one hour of reading, workout, money work, I won't get into that right now, and then my nighttime routine. Um, so these are just for me habits that help me to have like a healthy, happy life. And so it's good to track them. I don't do it like every single day. Uh, clearly I haven't been great this week, but it's just really nice to have this reminder, especially if you're trying to build a new habit. It's a really good one. Okay, and then on the right, I have my six month goals. These are like my long-term goals. I don't like to plan ahead too much. So six months is all I can do. <laughs> and I'm not gonna open this just because 
I like to keep these things private, but it's basically just like in form of a to-do list in different categories. It's very simple. You're not missing out on anything. And then we've got notes. So the idea of this spread was to basically stop using my notes app on my phone as much because I just can't keep it organized. Like I have so many notes. I just write down a random word and then I see it in three weeks and I'm like, what is i don't even know what it means so <laughs> i wanted to create certain like categories so i have ideas this is just my random brain dump i haven't really written anything in here because i'm still using notes too much on my phone but i'll get there and then words this is also still empty but i will use this for certain quotes and um, lines that I like from movies because that's something I tend to write down in my notes app and then I have my reading list this is just a really simple list of books that I would potentially want to read I write them down in here whenever someone gives me this recommendation and then I later put them into my goodreads because it's just more organized on there and then I have my movie list and again just very simple I literally just write a list <laughs> of movies I want to watch so that's that very simple I really need to start using this more just so I can have it more organized and then the last part of my dashboard are my monthly goals and intentions so on the right the idea is to have all of the past months um, I started using notion in October so I only have this one and then obviously the current one on the left so this one i edited it for this video because i didn't want to share too much because there's some special little projects in here that i don't want to give away but i just wanted to show you so you know kind of how it looks like again very simple literally just to-do list form there's usually about five of these on here um and yeah two of my current goals for the month are to upload two videos a week which i've been doing some of you have been noticing i'm actually sticking to it oh my god and then i've been um really good with my savings so every month i write down that goal as well okay and then moving on to this is again a little overview and then moving on to finances i have my savings on the right so here I literally write just the name of the month on the left and then the amount that I put into my savings on the right and that's it. So I plan to do that for every month. Okay and then this one is one of my favorites and again it's favorited so I use it all the time every single day. It's my budget. So I'm not going to share with you the current one for November just because I have all of my finances in there and that's just a little bit... I don't know, I just feel weird about sharing those things. But I did <laughs> make a copy for December that I'm gonna use when December rolls around just so I can kind of walk you through it and explain how it works. So on the left, I have all of my different categories of expenses. So I have like my taxes, my phone bill, rent, health insurance, Spotify, my gym, blah, 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 it goes on and on. <laughs> and then on the second column, I just have tags. So. I have set expenses which is things that are the same amount every single month and they repeat monthly and then expenses these are things that i spend money on every single month but i'm not sure how much of it so things like groceries apartment utilities therapy <laughs> bank fees stuff like that and then extra expenses eating drinking out personal spending gifts and charity um, and it goes on and on. I have savings, income, and then overall, which I'll get into later. And then in the amount section, I would obviously write down how much I spend. Like if I go to the grocery store and I spend 50 euros, I will write that down. And then the next time I go, I will update it, obviously. And then notes here, I would just write down how I paid for it. For example, if I paid for it with like a gift card or my credit card or something like that, just something I need to note. And then the goal section is just for specific like categories where I do have a budget. So groceries is 200 euros a month. Otherwise I could spend a thousand because I love food that much. And then currently my eating and drinking out section and my personal spending one is pretty low because we're in quarantine and I want to limit myself. So I'm not online shopping as much as I did in the first quarantine season. <laughs> 
because that was not good. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how it works. I update it every day if I spend something. Um, I have Notion on my phone as well, so it's just really easy whenever I spend something to write it down. Um, and then on the bottom, I do have like savings, so how much I put towards my emergency fund and my sinking funds. Income, here I'd write down obviously how much money I received within a month and I have different income streams. There's more on certain months, less in other months, depends. And then on the bottom I have how much I spent overall, how much I saved overall, and also my income for that month. And then at the bottom I just have my bank statement, like end of the month amount of money that's in my account. That's just how I like it. It works for me, I don't know. <laughs> it's just really easy for me to reference everything and keep up with it. So yeah, I've been using this consistently since I started Notion and it's so much better than writing it into my notebook. It's just so much easier and more efficient. Okay, let's move on. I'm gonna breeze through these because they're not that important. <laughs> so in the content section, I just have video ideas. I'm not gonna scroll down because there's I don't want to share everything. <laughs> these are just ideas, so obviously I wouldn't do a lot of these, but I put them in different categories and I do a little highlighted thingy for each category so it's sectioned off and looks a little bit more appealing. You can do the highlight by going here to color and then background. So let's do yellow for this one. Mm. So yeah, that's pretty much it, and it's the same for Instagram. So I just have Instagram stories, Instagram posts. Obviously with stories, I just share my life and whatever I'm doing that day, but if I ever like wanna do something special or I don't know what I wanna post, I can just reference this really easily. The next page is my projects. So I'm not gonna open any of these um, because they're projects, secrets. So, um, but they are structured the exact same way as the content ones. And then last but not least, we've got my grocery list, which again, is just a simple to-do list form. It's usually way longer than this, um, but I just went grocery shopping yesterday. Um, so yeah, whenever I run out of something, I just open my Notion on my phone and I write it in and it's super easy and it keeps me very organized. <laughs> That's it. That's my notion. Did you expect more? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this was super underwhelming, but <laughs> probably because I've watched a few of these on YouTube before and it's just like they have so much and it's also fancy and mine is just very simple because that's how I like it. I feel like it's not overwhelming. It doesn't become a mess. I don't want to have things on there that I don't use. Um, so yeah, I want to be able to keep up with everything on my notion um so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this again i will try to link the templates down below if i can figure out how to do that otherwise i will write down which templates i used and how i tweak them and check out my instagram check out my book say hey happiness i'll have all of them down below so yeah i really hope this was interesting or insightful i hope you got what you wanted <laughs> and i'm gonna go now so thank you so much for watching have a beautiful beautiful day and i will see you soon bye